volumepodcast.com. And of course, uh, that very last uh, sentence about the ownership does not even constitute a bona fide lease from the state since the state can unilaterally change its terms at any time. Well, the, well, the only reason why eminent domain and nuisance abatement are, are problems is because, and this is the foundational uh, concept that permeates through this, and what, that's, and this is why we really don't have any secured property rights, even legally, is because America, much like England, was set up on the fee simple system instead of a lodial title, because only the king, the sovereign, the monarch, the ruler, the state actually has a lodial title to the land and can basically do what do whatever he or it wants you the common serf the subject the american citizen you don't have a lodial title to the land you only have title only to the extent of it being in fee simple which is why things like eminent domain Actually, it's even worse than that, Shane. Remember, eminent domain is constitutional. Like, I mean, it's right there. So that's kind of really problematic for a lot of reasons. So, I mean, yeah, um, as was kind of mentioned in um, in season one, uh, argumentation ethics, I think, is what kind of establishes the uh, the private property ethic and so forth, you know, a axiomatically a priori and all that. But of course, the state doesn't obey that. The state violates property rights right from the friggin' get go. And that's before even we get to the issue of like collecting taxes and such. Just even in terms of assigning uh, of prop or what lawyers would call property acquisition and titling, it it's already messed up right from the get go because you don't have it in a lodial title, you have it in fee simple. And oh, by the way, folks. When you, ha when you own, quote, this is why Rayo put it in quotes, when you own it in fee simple, that really only means you own it at, at the whim of the state. So, for example, if you don't pay those property taxes and, you, oh, you owe the back taxes, the property, the property can be – and this is what Rayo was kind of implying. The property can – the, the real property, let's say five acres, can be confiscated by the state in payment of the, quote, back taxes. But even if you were, did pay up out your taxes, you can still lose the land because a bludgy uh, didn't like how you were using the land vis-a-vis -vis nuisance abatement. And or even if you were paying the taxes, even if you were obeying the local regs and therefore nuisance abatement, they couldn't even accuse you of that. There's still eminent domain, which really is up this, uh, the, which is really the ace up the the state's uh, sleeve. So if there ever was an argument in favor of uh, neo nomadic living. This would be it, because basically we're all gypsies, whether you like it or not. No, think about this. Well, I don't want to go on too long about this because there's some other things we need to kind of get to for the purpose of this episode. So maybe this would be more appropriate for season three. But suffice it to say for here, we're all Americans are gypsies because of the fee simple system. And for those of you who imagine that the legal system with its with its systematic use of lawfare that justifies things like a democide, at least in certain circumstances where it's appropriate, of course, that you think that you have secured property rights, even those of you who come from old money, those of you who imagine yourselves to be blue bloods because your folks were, you know, you, you're whatever related, uh, like daughters, like a DAR member, Daughters of the American Revolution or whatever, um, you only enjoy that stuff at the behest of the state. Volume Podcast. Dot com.